December 21st, two astronomical units from Earth. A backyard telescope in Finland tracks something that shouldn't still be visible. The stars streak across the frame. That's normal when you're tracking a moving object. But what stays sharp is what matters. 3i Atlas, still compact, still structured, still there. At this distance, after perihelion, most comets collapse into diffuse clouds. The brightness fades, the core blurs. The show ends. This one didn't get the memo. Four months of images, three independent observatories, two hemispheres, and every single frame tells the same story. Whatever this thing is, it's not behaving like the comets we know. The geometry isn't collapsing. The structure isn't washing out. And that columnated jet, still firing, still pointed at the sun, still perfectly aligned. If you want to see what's actually happening out there, no hype, no speculation, just the raw images that came down this week. Stay with me. Hit subscribe, notifications on, full screen, because what I'm about to show you is four months of evolution compressed into one story. And the ending? It's not what anyone predicted. Let's start with the December 21st image. Basic backyard setup. Stars streaked because the telescope is locked on the object's motion. At two astronomical units from Earth, roughly 186 million miles, you'd expect faint blur. Maybe a smudge if conditions are perfect. Instead, there's a compact central condensation with a faint asymmetric extension that's subtle but real. The inset zooms in, the glow isn't centered, it's directed, like a nozzle, like something choosing where to vent. This is post-perihelion. Solar heating is dropping off, activity should be winding down, the object should be fading into the background. It's not. Now look at the four month comparison panel. August on the left, September in the middle, December on the right, same object, same tracking method, different sky conditions. From August to September, the signal strengthens. That makes sense, it's approaching the sun. More heat, more activity, more brightness. By December it fades again. Expected, physics checks out. But here's what doesn't happen. Fragmentation, flares, collapse into noise. The central condensation stays compact across all three dates. Even as brightness rises and falls, the shape holds. That's not typical comet behavior. Most objects this far out lose coherence fast. The nucleus breaks apart, the dust spreads thin, and you're left with a diffuse cloud. 3i Atlas kept its geometry for four months straight. That consistency across time, across brightness changes, across different observers, matters more than any single dramatic image. December the 22nd, morning, Hawaii. Different observer, different instrument. Very short exposure, barely enough integration time to pull signal from noise. And yet, the object is still there. Compact glow, slight asymmetry. Not a point source, so it's not a background star. Matches the structure seen the night before, no flare, no sudden change, just the same basic geometry confirmed independently. That kind of agreement, across observatories, across hemispheres, across equipment, is the backbone of real science. When multiple people see the same thing using different tools, you stop questioning if it's real and start asking what it means. Now let's talk about December 19th, Close's approach to Earth. This image isn't a single photo. It's a breakdown across multiple wavelength bands, red, green, blue, combined with contrast enhancing filters. And the structure survives all of them. In red, compact core, elongated tail. In green, same. In blue, same. That tells you this isn't a color artifact. It's not a processing trick. It's not chromatic aberration or sensor noise. Then they applied the Larsen Seconina filter. This tool removes smooth backgrounds and exposes fine structure. And there it is, a strong columnated feature extending outward from the nucleus, tens of thousands of kilometers, pointing sunward, holding its shape across every wavelength. Whatever is driving this feature, it's coherent, it's consistent, and it's doing something that natural outgassing struggles to explain this cleanly. NASA says it's solar radiation pressure pushing dust, geometry projecting it into our line of sight in a way that looks like thrust but isn't. Mathematically, that works. Visually, 
It looks exactly like a jet, a controlled vent, a nozzle firing in one direction with surgical precision. You can't prove it's artificial. But you also can't ignore the fact that if you wanted to design a propulsion system that mimicked natural cometary activity perfectly, this is what it would look like. Now let's zoom out. Because while 3i Atlas is doing its thing 2AU away, the universe is reminding us what normal actually looks like. The Euclid Space Telescope captured NGC 6946, a barred spiral galaxy nearly 400 million light years away. Sweeping arms, blue star forming regions, bright core, another galaxy nearby separated by tens of millions of light years with only weak interaction. This is what natural structure looks like at galactic scale. Chaos shaped by gravity over hundreds of millions of years. No precision, no alignment, just physics doing what physics does. Compare that to 3i Atlas, a jet that's been firing in the same direction for four months, a core that hasn't fragmented, a trajectory that bent toward Jupiter with accuracy that makes orbital mechanics engineers uncomfortable. One is random, one is not. December 22nd, winter solstice. Finland, geomagnetic activity made visible, green auroras at 100 kilometers altitude, purple and violet curtains rising higher, vertical structures tracing Earth's magnetic field lines as charged particles stream in from space. Beautiful, chaotic, natural. Now look at Saturn's rings. Hubble captured dark streaks called spokes. Radial features caused by charged dust grains lifted above the ring plane by Saturn's magnetic field. They form, they fade, they disappear within a few rotations. That's what electromagnetic interactions look like when they're uncontrolled. Brief, flickering, unstable. Three eye atlas, four months, same jet, same alignment, no flicker, no fade. Here's where we are, four months of tracking. Multiple observatories, independent confirmation, and every frame shows the same thing. An object that's holding structure far longer and far more cleanly than natural comets typically do. The jet is still firing. The core is still compact. The geometry is still aligned. Is it artificial? No one's saying that officially. But the data is saying something and that something doesn't fit the comfortable narrative of just another comet. NASA's explanation works mathematically. Solar radiation pressure, natural outgassing, dust dynamics. But when you line up four months of images and watch an object maintain coherence this long, this far from the sun, with this level of geometric precision, you start asking different questions. Not, is this normal? But what would it take for something to look this normal while doing something completely different underneath? If you want the next update the moment new images drop, subscribe and hit notifications. Because 3i Atlas is still moving, still venting, still heading toward Jupiter, and we're going to keep watching until we know what it really is. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit like if this breakdown helped, we'll keep following the data.